Hi, this is Walter Wiese, head guide at Parks Fly Shop in Gardner, Montana, and this is our tying video for the 14th of December, 2009. What I'm going to be tying here today is a uh, Palmered CDC or CDC and Elk um, caddis here. It's a, a blonde CDC and Elk or Palmered CDC caddis. Uh, it's primarily used on the Firehole River, and it imitates the Nectopsyche caddis, which is the most important uh, caddis species on the fire hole and this is the adult version of the emerger I tied last week the uh, white miller soft tackle and this is derived from Hans Weilandman's uh, CDC and elk caddis it's a little different the original CDC and elk which there's that video is on YouTube as well is tied just with the CDC feather as the body whereas this one which you may or may, may not be able to see in this has an underbody of uh, dubbing as well, and then I trim the CDC fibers rather than letting them straggle out behind the fly as in that original pattern. And then the wing is uh, bleached early season cow elk, and then 6 aught light Cahill uni for the thread. Okay, so the first step in tying the uh, blonde CDC and elk caddis is to go ahead and lay down a thread base down to the bend. And this is a size 14 um, short shank dry fly hook I'm using. This is the, the taper of hook I use for the vast majority of my caddis flies. Okay, so the first body material you tie in is a type 4 CDC feather, a white type 4 CDC feather. And this is the most common kind of uh, feather that's found in most of the packages of CDC you buy. Um, and that's one reason I use it. The uh, original CDC and Elk calls for a Type 2 feather, which is overall just a higher quality feather and uh, creates a bulkier body. This wouldn't create really any bulk if I just used the feather, but that doesn't matter since I'm wrapping dubbing over it. All right, so the first step here is to sweep some of those fibers back to select a tie-in point, and then take one turn over the, the stem of the feather and then pull those tips through. And what's going to happen is the uh, very back of the body is not going to have any of those tendrils of the CDC fibers um, sweeping out behind it. But once you get about to the hook point, it, uh, those fibers are going to start sweeping back and sort of take the place of hackle. Now for the underbody on this fly, I use kind of a creamy golden olive dubbing that uh, one of our guys, Doug Korn, makes out of, I believe, acrylic, several colors of acrylic yarn. And the reason for making our own dubbing on this fly is simple. There really aren't any commercial dubbings that are quite the right color. And even blends of commercial dubbings just tend to not come out right. I've, I made my own dubbing for quite a while for this fly, and it was just really tough to work with. Doug's pretty good at making dubbing, and he's got a pretty good blend here that we're going to use. Uh, we may start selling it, we don't at the moment, but it is not hard to make your own dubbing. Um, you need a coffee grinder and then materials, and you just cut them up real fine and blend them up in the coffee grinder. Um, I highly recommend learning how to do that. Uh, I'd recommend getting a different coffee grinder than the one you have in your kitchen, but uh, you know, there's some flies where you just can't find quite the right shade of dubbing or where you just really would prefer to make your own and, uh, you know, give your flies kind of the last little bit of personalization, show the fish something different. Um, it's, a good, it's a good investment. All right, so the next step here is to wrap forward the CDC feather. And notice how I am wrapping, those, wrapping this, these turns in close but not quite touching turns. Um, I want that underbody to show through. I, I am at the same time wrapping the feather much more closely than I would if I was tying, say, an elk hair caddis. And after, as you make each turn, make sure to sweep those fibers back. You want those uh, CDC feather fibers to not get trapped. Now, it would almost certainly catch fish like this, but um, I do like to trim the fibers somewhat. Rough trim. Um, 
I'm going to trim it roughly even with the gape of the hook. And I say roughly because when this flies actually in the water, it's going to everything is going to be moving chaotically anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But the white CDC now kind of makes a halo effect around the fly, and that'll be magnified once it's in the water. Um, the only part of this fly I put floating on is the wing, so those CDC fibers are going to get into the current, um, especially the ones on the bottom of the hook. The ones on the top and the sides might really help uh, help the fly float, but the most important thing that helps keep the fly afloat is the wing. Now as I mentioned I'm using uh, bleached early season cow elk. Um, you want a hair that has fairly fine diameter on it overall, but it needs to be hollow pretty far down towards the tips. So I've got a patch of bleached deer hair which is even finer, but uh, it isn't as hollow all the way down to the tips and so it doesn't create that extra flotation and it doesn't actually have quite enough bulk at the tips to really create a, a dense enough wing. So stack that. And I want a pretty dense wing on this fly because as I said this is what helps it float. Um, one thing that separates this fly from a lot of other caddis flies used to match this insect, which is again the Nectopsyche caddis, is that this fly can be uh, skated very easily and the, the natural insect is really known as a skater, either when the, the insects are laying eggs, the females, or when uh, they're emerging. They really tend to dart, skitter across the surface and you'll see fish darting after them, jumping out of the water, chasing them, really going crazy and so that's a uh, behavior that you want to be able to match with your flies for this insect. All right. And notice here that I'm not tying the fly off directly. I'm making kind of a spiral through the wing butts. That's going to secure the wing much more than if I just went straight to the front of the fly before I tied my, my whip finish. I'm going to do this one by hand even though in the last two videos I used my uh, tool because I said in one of the videos that I knew how to do it by hand and I want you to believe me. It is a good habit to learn because there's some flies where it, it simply is faster to do it by hand. Okay, and there's the completed uh, blonde palmer CDC and elk. So the kind of the salient points of this fly again are you have the CDC um, palmer hackle essentially and the kind of golden pale golden olive underbody and then the bleached elk, pretty heavy bleached early season cow elk wing and that body is going to show through although the overall dominant color is probably going to come from the CDC uh, which is going to kind of again create that sort of white halo effect around the fly. And then the, the wing, again, it's primarily there for flotation. Uh, that's why I tie it with hair rather than, say, Zelon. But the overall coloration of the fly is, again, very pale. So you need to use the bleached elk. This fly is obviously um, something you could tie in other collar combinations for whatever caddis you have around. Uh, in smaller sizes, it becomes more and more likely you can get away without using any kind of underbody at all. This is a pretty robust 14. Uh, if I was tying a 16, for example, I might, uh, might leave out the uh, underbody, even if I was using a Type 4 CDC feather. The Type 2 feather, which is, again, what the original CDC and calls for, is a much denser feather, and it, it, it's going to be able to uh, cover flies up to that 14 easily, maybe even up to 12. Uh, one other thing we use this fly for actually is a spruce moth. Um, it's not our primary spruce moth pattern, but uh, it works pretty well for it, especially in faster streams where you want that flotation from the big heavy wing. As always, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to give us a call or email us. This fly is on our website if you uh, want to look at a, another photo of it. Thanks for watching.